Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So in this video, I'm going to show you what storybook is and why people are using it. And there's a lot of things to discuss about this uh, storybook. So now um, let's get started. So as you can see that storybook is an open source and a tool for developing the UI components with the isolation for many um, different languages such as uh, React, um, Angular, and we are building the UI and organize it very efficiently. So um, we might have a look that storybook. It would look something like this. And it build the component in isolation and um, also build the stories uh, as the uh, use case as story as well. And there are many things as you can see here. So now let's get into it. I'll just click on this um, get started and see what it says and as you can see storybook is a user interface development environment and it's also a playground for the ui development so the tool and about the developer to create the component which is the a ui component depend independently and showcase the component interactively in and isolation or isolated development environment so what it does it try to uh, so let's say Normally, when we try to create a web application, all the components are just like uh, differently in different pages. But for the storybook, what it try to do is that it's just uh, a little bit like the Lego that it try to um, get all of the each component and show it as the stories on the left hand side, which is on the sidebar right here. So um, now let's uh, before getting into more in detail, then we can just look or watch this video and um, I'm going to turn the volume off. Okay, so um, this is the video that might be interest, more interested than just talking. And you can see that this is the uh, all the UI components which is sitting on say a page. And you can see there's a lot of things inside one page. So it's very difficult and you can see that the connections within each page is connected with each other and um, so it's very difficult when say you try to update or you try to change one component that it going to also affect the other's component as well and it's going to fail this is uh, the solution or the reasons why uh, they uh, storybook is created so you can see that this is the all the component again and developers really want to make it just like create as a Lego that they can just drag and drop or uh, they put it independently. And you can see that they just can use it drag and drop stuff like that and they don't need to care about like APIs broken or the process of building it. So what they need to only focus is to build it independently and there's a features and and we can actually show it onto this um, a story as well and there's an add-on that uh, the developer can actually use it um, so uh, also uh, there's a feature for them to uh, share to collaborate with the others developer not only that um, there's a lot of things which you can see in here and um, this is also widely used by all the developer coming from all of these um, companies or all the organizations so this um, you can see that it's very um, popular right now so so yeah um, now let's have a look onto its github page so you can see that there's like f more than 40k stars already and there's a lot of things right here which you can have a look um, next one here is the uh, website for learning the storybooks and uh, they have uh, different languages uh, so in this case this is for react and again it's build all of these things so um, it's outside of your app and this is the what it's built is to uh, create all the component into the isolated environment this is the main purpose of using the uh, storybook and this is the tutorial on how to create all of these things you uh, can just go to the website and see how this can be done this is um, step by step on how to set the storybook up 
and this is the reuse comp uh, C CSS and uh, there's a lot more so next one here is the example of the storybook official um, website where we can actually see the real demo of um, using the storybook so uh, this is what it looks like so let's say uh, there's with tabs the tabs on top here so here is the story we can see the source code right down here and is the action is what is happening inside that is the event and um, there's a lot more so in this case is uh, the frame so we can see the code uh, inside this uh, separate component and this one here is for the mobile also uh, with the notification right down here is all of the cyber so for this is all the badges uh, all the type of buttons so here are all the code of this uh, button so when I scroll down you can also see this the storybooks uh, the demo of the storybooks with the button so this is the converse which we can actually see what is happening and this is all of this um, story actions event as I mentioned earlier and this uh, the story 1 story 2 so you can have um, a look into this website to see the real example of what it actually is and this is another website as well um, this is not coming from the official website and they have all type of these things which you can also see it as an example so uh, this is the custom header and this is all the code for the stories and when I click on the all all component actually showing right here so this is all this code and um, you can drag and drop to zoom in zoom out there's a lot more you can try um, to play here next one here is the storybooks which is this one is specifically for the react and this is how we can actually set it up which is similar to the previous one that I show you and got uh, tons of language languages uh, this HTML also um, for angular and stuff and next one here is the um, storybook library for react you can see that there are more than 830k thousands of um, download for this week already and um, this is quite popular you can see right here and um, next one so this is the storybook um, on the medium website and right here this is um, storybook 5.0 and you can see that here's what include inside this here so re a theme ready component library and this is all the feature what is new in the um, storybook 5.0 and it's introduced the sim api the dark one and this is the add-on which you can see here right here this tab and this is the way to upgrade it to version 5.0 so this document is actually written by uh, michael um, he is actually uh, the editor of the storybooks you can find a lot of the information regarding um, storybook from his uh, um, from his account you can see that there's a lot of tutorial about these things so you can just um, search for his name onto medium and see all of these articles next one here is the storybooks uh, 5 point and this version is include the mobile standalone packages uh, for react native and there's also an add-on um, presence as well and here there's a lot of the new features you can see right here next one here is the 
uh, storybooks docs page and this one is available in the storybook 5.2 which is the latest version of the uh, storybooks so for the docs um, pages uh, page it's a zero configuration way to turn the storybook into a rich readable uh, documents and it's the first step toward the transforming your storybook into the real world class uh, design systems so yep is what it like or uh, look like you don't need to do any configuration you can just um, these all the step for you to install it and this add-on with the docs you can already see it right here and last one here is the storybooks uh, component story format and this uh, also available in the uh, storybook 5.0 it's introduced this uh, CSF uh, stand for component stories format this is the feature and um, there's a lot of things you can see here so basically storybook has got a lot of features and when we try to actually get uh, th things started we will look into the latest version and also i want to mention that in this video we are not going to do all of the implementation of uh, how we actually uh, implement the storybook uh, onto our react but uh, in the next video we are going to do that together and um I think that's pretty much it for this tutorial. I just want to introduce you guys what Storybook is and why people are using it and what are all the benefits of using the Storybook. So again, thanks for your time and we'll see you guys in the next video on how to implement the Storybook into React application.